How's it going, fellas? I'm Oros, and this is another episode of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And in today's episode, we're going back to the underground caverns. And I believe I figured out how to get through the. I believe I figured out how to get through the waterfall. And also how to get through. How to get through the. Uh, what else? The water. You know how I was saying that uh, with the wolf you're able to go through the water? Well, you can, but I didn't know how to pull it off. But now I do. Apparently you press triangle. And then the wolf starts swimming. Yeah, so let's go this way first. Let's see what's this way. In the normal castle, this is where the nightmare took place. Where you fought the succubus. Uh, but in this... This case, maybe this is where the... Acid cloud ability is? I don't know, we're gonna look. What have I done? Oh shit. Shouldn't have kept that in my equipment. Fuck. I forgot I can't attack upwards. So how am I supposed to kill this stupid jellyfish? So now we're hanging out with the sword. And sword is in my opinion the best. And he doesn't prove himself to be the best, but when I was playing before, I only used the sword and by the end of the game he was really tough and he could take on like some of the tougher enemies all by himself. He has an ability called Dunder, where he screams Dunder and he like attacks everything inside. Can you get him for me please? Get a jellyfish. Almost. Almost had it. Damn, you moron. Upwards. Almost. A little closer. Come on. Please, I swear to God. Ow, I can't jump and not get hit by this. Or I can, I guess. I, mean, I fucking hate the inverted castle. You can't just go through it normally like you would. Alright, so I'm curious what's this way actually. Because I don't remember. Let's hope. I found out how to get through the waterfall. You can actually do it as a bat. It's kind of a glitch. I don't. I don't. It seems weird to be like an actual method you have to do it. But I don't see the other method I could possibly do it with. So I'm gonna explain you what you have to do when I actually get there. Okay, so this is where the normal save would be. Yeah, okay. And this is where the nightmarish save would be. And there's nothing here. So this location was just for some items, okay. Good, at least it doesn't make me completely... You know what, I was following a guide for the most of this playthrough. And when I first played the game too, I was following a guide. But... <clears throat> Like, last three episodes, I kind of completely ignored the guide and just went on my own. And now, I'm, if I would follow the guide, I would probably just get even more lost. So I decided to fuck the guide, and I'm just gonna go on my own. I know I have to defeat death. I still haven't done that. Uh, Doppelganger appears again. He was one of the early bosses, but he comes back. We gotta go to the Colosseum. And... Colosseum is next to those weird stairs on the right. There's one more spot which is pretty close to where we are right now. And maybe we're gonna go to the next episode. What I wanna do today is go back all the way up. Go back to the locations we've been last episode, the waterfall and the water areas. So that I can actually explore them because I found out how to do it the way it was supposed to be done and then we're gonna go back next episode we're gonna check what was in this one area I missed and go to the left of this actually maybe I'll go to the left of this a little bit in this episode you can go up or left I'm not sure what's to the left what? Shut up. Don't talk to me, sword. You're dumb. Oh jeez, I forgot about this guy. Okay, so how can I do it? 
without fucking it up too much. The pressing triangle makes the wolf swim, but it's kind of hard to pull off. Okay, wait. I can... Now. There we go. I was just holding it, okay. So by holding it, I can actually swim around. Here you go, Wolf was finally useful for once. Thunder! Thunder. Thunder in Paradise, that's an old TV show starring Hulk Hogan. Starring Hulk Hogan. As the Thunder. Thunder Lips. That was one of his moves. How is the water upside down? Can I just go through with this Alucard now? I sure can. That's pretty useful. So we're gonna quickly do this. I wish I remembered more how the... Oh shit. We gotta go through the mist because there's just a lot of enemies. Oh crap. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's more stuff to it. I just wanna make sure that I'm not missing anything, because like I said last episode, I feel like by the time I was here when I first played, I already had oh nice. How did I do double damage? I feel like by the time I was here, I already had the poison cloud. I don't have right now, and it makes me kind of concerned. Where the fuck is the poison fire? Okay, this seems bigger than the other places. So look, health. Just uh, max up health, not the increased health. So that's not that good. Is this this is a potion. Yeah, okay, so we missed... Okay, we explored most everything. I believe. I'm gonna go back a little more. Just in case. We're gonna figure out how to get through the stupid waterfall thing. And up there. There's like... Wait, these doors were closed last time I've been here. There was like a wooden plank there and I couldn't get to it. Wait, this is the inverted... Oh man, this is a location I forgot about. Okay. Crap, alright, I got an idea. We're gonna go explore the remaining parts and we're gonna go back here. I know there's one enemy that's ridiculously difficult in this game. But you can get him easily. If you have a certain item. And that item is, I think, called Topless Circlet. It's one of the helmets. Let me see if I have it. Oh, there you go. The Burial Circlet. Restores HP by lightning damage. So this is gonna be a game changer, pretty much. Okay, we're by the waterfall. Beautiful. And believe it or not, the trick to get through the waterfall... I'll show you how to do it. Last episode I tried to jump with a wolf. I knew that there was something about jumping with a wolf, but I just forgot how to do it. This is really slow and tedious, by the way. What you have to do... is just keep attacking. And as you can see, you'll keep going backwards. Oh wait, no? Oh, what the fuck? That's not how you do it? Oh. How do you do it? How you do it? God damn it, I should stop getting around the fucking cross. How do you do it then? I don't get it. I can just get it as a wolf. Alright. 
did, I remember that I did do some glitch with a bat, and I just was like really slowly going through the waterfall. All right, I guess I can just do it as a bat. I mean, as a wolf. Hmm, that's fucking dumb. How did I do it last time? There's some stupid sword in here. Now oh, I have a really good sword. And this one is two-handed. And not only is it two-handed, but it's even worse than mine. I have like a poison sword, maybe that's why I'm doing double damage sometimes. Maybe. Maybe it's not. I don't know. This series is really long, by the way. It shouldn't be because, well, there was just a bunch of episodes. There was like a lot of times where I just sat down record episodes, but I could, didn't have much time. And I made episodes like nine minutes long. And because I didn't want it to make them ridiculously long. For no reason. Something here. The map like shows me that there's something up there, but it's nothing up there. Have I already explored everything here and I'm just going here for no reason? Uh, seems like it. Unless you can go up there. Damn it. Doing just a bad doesn't work that well. Money. I don't need money that much. I don't think there's anything up there anymore. Unless there's like, like an exit over there? No, there's just a wall. Okay, so there's what's well, nothing here. It just seemed that it's unexplored, but it's actually fully explored. So why is the game fooling me? I don't know. We're gonna go to the catacombs, or... Actually, we are in the catacombs. We're gonna go to this other area I forgot about. The one that's Cerberus in the normal version of the castle. And in this version of the castle, I don't have any idea what is in there. Maybe death? Maybe death hangs out in there, I don't know. Where was it again? More to the left. Because of some plank that was opened. I did remember the plank, but I thought maybe you had to get it some weird way. Jesus Christ, the sword just fucked them up. I told you the sword is good. It's just kind of too random, but when it does something awesome, it really pulls it off. Which is pretty cool about the sword, I guess. When I was first playing this, I was just only using the sword. These guys are not that difficult. It's just that when you hit them more, and they go like berserk mode, and they do more damage, or they attack more. They do some stupid bullshit. My favorite music. If I did like a Halloween special, like uh, if I was a. Uh... You know what? More and more often I'm thinking about changing my entire channel. From a uh, let's play channel more to like a video game reviewing channel. You know, something in the style of any other video game reviewing channel. Because why not? Those are a little bit better than Let's Play channels. Yeah, that's where Death hangs out, alright. I got some cool... Potions? I can use a shield potion. And go the fence. Resist fire, resist holy. I believe death is using uh, cursed attacks. Resist dark. There we go. It's probably using darkness. 
luck potion, sure thing. I will use everything. I'm a drug addict. I swear to God, is it just like the Castlevania game that does something weird to my head? Where I just non-stop feel like I'm just... There's something going on in the background. And trust me, there's nothing in the background. I saw someone fucking sitting next to me and fucking watching me. God damn it. So you've made it this far. Yeah, it was pretty the long. Of your father, cease this foolishness. Man, Not shut there up. breath in my body. Then, for the master, I'll feast on your soul this night. Death, no, don't do it, Death. That's a pushover, by the way. What bosses in this game seems like pushovers? It's an orb thing. It's blade orange. That's it. Oh, never mind. He goes super berserk. Goes super Saiyan. Oh shit. Good throw, Master Death. So this is where the Cerberus was in the normal castle. Which feels like, wow, just a couple of episodes ago we would have been fighting Cerberus in this place. And now we're fighting Death. Now we got Eye of Vlad. And by Vlad, do they mean Vlad the Impaler? Oh, the button. I guess I gotta change the... And demon, come over, come over here. You gotta press a button for me. I'm back. Yeah, we all missed you. Can you press a button for me? Ah, gotta... oh, there you Whoa, go. Hey, what's this? Some kind of switch? I much prefer shiny red buttons. But this will do. Thanks, and demon. You seem like the kind of mascot of this game, but you are not. Oh, fuck off. We're gonna go to this place, see what's up. Now we're gonna end exit. Into the safe spot. Get some more shit done. I actually don't remember where's this boss that I was just talking about, because it's like really difficult. I don't know think about it, maybe he's in here. Ouch. Jeez, too many projectiles. Yeah, you know, I think about it, I think he's here. I think I went the... A bit of a wrong way. I wonder how many secrets I missed by not looking up the guide. And not knowing where there are wolves to destroy. Ah, whatever. I bet they wouldn't just hit like a keen item between them behind a wall. So whatever, man. And I feel like shit. Oh my god, there's so many bats. Go away. I had the cross, I could have used the cross on him when I was fighting death. So many bats, I don't even feel like fighting them. I feel like I should have had the acid cloud ability by now. Uh, no, that's a shitty weapon. So what is this way? Jesus Christ, I totally don't remember this place. Should have just saved when I was in the previous room. There are like rooms leading me to completely different parts of the fucking place. Alright, there's a teleporter here. Maybe there's a save room to the right? So I could just save. Ouch. I don't remember his thunder ability, but flash? I don't remember flash. Don't flash my viewer sword, please. I don't want to get taken down from YouTube. 
Not even demonetized because I'm not even getting monetized. I look at sword. <clears throat> Let's see if it's any good. Also, where is it? It is pretty good. Oh, it's my defense, but the damage is significantly better. That's the sword we had at the begin. Oh, it's fast. That's the sword we had at the beginning of the game. I'm gonna hope to God that there's a fucking save room in this area. Teleporter, I could teleport to the safe room and then come back. But I'm a dumbass, I'm not gonna do it. I'm a dumbass by choice. So I'm aware that I'm a dumbass and I do dumb decisions. Now which way? This leads somewhere. I bet there's a safe spot right here. No, just some items. Damn it. Don't make me go through some stupid bullshit. Oh no, it's my girl. Oh, there you go, a door. Wait a minute, the door? Where does it lead me? Teleport? I do not remember this area. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be here. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. You know what? In fact, let's get the fuck out of here. We'll get the fuck out of here, back to the safe spot. Then we're gonna explore the caverns more, and maybe then we'll come back there. I'm not sure. Now, I do believe if you wanna finish the game, you can go straight to the middle of the room. You know where the middle of the room was? And the clock tower. In the inverted clock tower, so in the middle of the map, there's this big open space. And that's where Dracula hangs out, and if you want to finish the game and not explore it to its fullest, you can, go, you can just go straight there, and uh, if you can manage to beat Dracula, which I bet there's some kind of trick to beat him, like with nothing in the, your equipment. I mean, there's people who beat this game without even equipping a sword. It's like a Mega Man where you can just beat the game without equipping any of the weaknesses. That's a challenge, you know? Beating, I don't know, Fallout without weapons. Well, in Fallout's case, at least it makes sense because it's like a possibility of being more like a well spoken character who just kind of gets around everyone. Alright, let's finish this episode. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.